Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and today we're starting the Country Life Cricut Cartridge Series. We'll have probably about four videos for this series. Um, the first video, today's video, we're going to be making a card with one of the images from the cartridge. But first I wanted to go over some of the different features in the manual. Um, we have a couple different features. The first one is just our regular cut and our two layers. Um, there's also a great banner feature and as you can see the first two um, images that are in the manual, the banner is actually um, kind of related to the image. Um, but as you go back a little bit, you start going into the regular regular kind of style banners. Um, and then there's a feature where it has the image, the um, regular image in the banner itself, and then it has a layer to the banner. So we also have a font, and the font um, feature comes with the, the font as well as a banner for the font. And then we have our phrase section, and we have a, sh a shadow area. So there's some great images in here and some really cute banners. So I've got a couple of ideas, some things I want to work on. And uh, so let's get started with our first project. Um, so let's come on. We'll hit, um, we're going to head over to the Cricut and get okay, started. Okay, so I have my Country Life cartridge in my, um, in my Cricut, and I have my overlay on. And I have my speed and my pressure set up to high because I am using some thicker cardstock and my blade is set at six. And I'm just going to leave it that way, even though I have different pattern paper on my my cartridge or, or on my mat here. I'm not really worried about it. So, so I'm going to go ahead and set my dial size at five inches. And that is what we're going to be cutting. Um, we're going to be cutting. Her name is Mary Jane, and she's on page third, uh, 29 of the manual. And I'm going to go ahead and cut her out, like I said, at 5 inches. So I'm going to start with my base cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that one. And I have it set at 5 inches, my heavy, um, heavier cardstock, and I'm going to go ahead and cut her out. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to cut out is a little dress. And I already moved my blade over to my pattern paper. And I'm going to cut this out at 5 inches. Everything I'm cutting out now is at 5 inches. So I'm just going to hit my Shift key and select my image again. And you'll see it come up on the, um, the screen right here. So I have my right image, and I'm just going to go ahead and press cut. So I have my blade now set at my next uh, pattern paper, and I'm going to be cutting out um, the little bonnet here, which is on layer 1. So I'm just going to select layer 1, select my image, and it'll come up here on the screen. And I'll just go ahead and cut that out. select my line return key and I'm going to go down here to my craft colored cardstock and the next image I'm going to be cutting out is the little bonnet and the bunny rabbit so I'm going to hit the shift key because it's on the layer one layer one key with the shift function I'm just going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to make sure my blade is right where it needs to be and I'll go ahead and cut ahead and move my paper down or my blade down now to my ivory um, card stock and I'm going to go ahead and cut out um, my next layer which is layer two so I'm going to turn off my layer one key select layer two and select my image and we're going to be cutting out um, which would be her face and her arms and her legs so the next thing we're going to cut out and it's really really tiny it's a little flower and her mouth so I have my blade set on my um, lighter pink cardstock. I'm going to hit the shift key and have the layer 2 key selected. Hit my image and you'll see it come up right, up, right on here. And we'll go ahead and hit cut. Okay, so I have all of my pieces cut out and I'm going to go ahead and put this together, but I'm going to have to do it in like a fast uh, motion because there's so many little pieces. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start doing that.
done putting her together and um, she had a lot of little pieces and I messed up on her arms a little bit but it came out okay. So I also added a little pearl right to the center of the flower on her hat. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting our card together. My card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half so I cut my paper or my cardstock at four and a quarter by eleven and scored it at five and a half. And then I have this piece of pattern paper here this measures um, four by five and a quarter. So I'm just going to use my ATG gun to adhere that down. And I'm going to center that right on the base of my card. Just like that. Okay, so I have another piece of pattern paper, and I'm not going to cut this down yet because I'm going to go ahead and use this Martha Stewart punch, and I'm going to center it right on my punch here and just punch out this, I love this um, border here. And I left this a little longer because I want to center it on my front of my card. Just like this. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is just trim it down. I love the pattern paper on the back of this too. It's got cute little owls on the back. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit, trim it down. And let's see. I'm going to have it be about two and a half inches. And then I'm going to put this right on the front of my card. So I'm going to add my adhesive first. I'll center this right on the front of my card. Just like that. And then I'll trim off the extra. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and use um, some pop dimensionals here to put my little Mary Jane down. I think though first I might want to add some ribbon. Okay, so I decided I wanted to add some ribbon to this. So what I did was I just trimmed it off at the um, score line to the base of the card that I originally did. And I'm looking for my little Tim Holtz distresser. Here it is. And I'm going to go ahead and just do some distressing right on the edges of the, the cardstock that I had originally was going to use as the base of my card. So I'm just doing a little bit of distressing on there, all around, all four sides, just like that. So just a little bit of distressing. And then I'm going to take um, a piece of my satin ribbon and I'm just going to go right across the front of my card here. And I'm going to adhere it down with my ATG gun. So I'm just going to put some ATG on both sides. And then I'll line it up and adhere it down. There go. I'll just trim these off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this now to my new base. I'll go ahead and just add my dimensionals to the back of Mary Jane. Just 
I go a little crazy with adhesive and dimensionals. And then I'm going to stick her right on the front of my card. Now I'm not going to add a sentiment or anything to this right now because I might use this either as a birthday card or even a Mother's Day card. But there we go. That's our first card today using the Country Life Cricut cartridge. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christine. I'll see you next time. Bye.